everyone and welcome to the third uh, episode of uh, this uh, video pack that you have uh, got so uh, in this video we are going to learn something new we are going to be updating the, our design in order for it to match our new functionality that we are going to be actually discovering in this series which is going to be allowing us uh, to upload or make stages for each user and also see the stages of other people so we are going to learn that in this video and we are just going to start that and we are going to complete that in the next episode so let's get into it so guys what we are going to be doing here is that we are going to make some changes in this page so which matches what we actually are, what we are looking for and to do so it is very simple so we are going to actually keep the up bar uh, and touch it so we want to just take this guy here and we want to so f b before we do that we want to add uh, what you call a tab bar and this is what we call a tab bar it is it helps you to scroll over some tabs so we want to delete the last one since we don't actually need it so we want to delete that and uh, yes we want to delete that and uh, what we, we want so for each one we have a ta text we want to delete that as well so for example one we want to see chats and uh, here we want to see status right so uh and this is the chat we, this stack is a chat we want to just remove it entirely from there and paste it inside the first tab bar so but for the stages we we need to have something uh, or another list of people so we are going to be actually seeing the statuses, right? We are going to see that it is very simple. So what we need is very simple. Is very simple. So we want to have a list of statuses, and now what we are going to be doing is just to uh, make add the design stuff. So we want to come here, and we want to add a list view, of course, and it has to needs to have a container, and always for the height, it is not going to be any height. We are going to be adding the like. Uh, uh, a row and this is just gonna be very simple we are going to have a circle image inside that row and uh, so we can see uh, the image of the user who made that specific uh, status and we can make it like 70 or so so we can say 10 in the padding and we can add another text which will be uh, actually 40 or just uh, 30 actually looks good or maybe 26 this is actually a good uh, a good value so uh, this is very simple so and uh, that is what we need so for the list view we want so to to see a list of statuses you need to first add a backend where you want to f actually uh, see those things so what we are going to be doing is very simple we are going to be adding another collection called uh, status uh yes we, it will not be any sub collection and uh, it will only have uh, owner which is a uh, document reference from the users and then we are going to have image text image is an image path and this text is a string so this is the the collection where we are going to be storing all the stages of all the users right uh yes you will see that you may want so this is the a little bit not it's a little bit complicated because the first thing that you don't have to see here is your own stages and the stages of those that you are not engaged with but don't worry we are going to fix all those issues when we are going to move on to uh, more advanced uh, steps but for now keep in mind that what i'm doing is here is is the design and preparing the backend now the next thing that i will actually be doing is to add a brand new component this component will serve us as uh, a way to add more stages so people will go to this uh, tab and add a stages so for that we may want to actually add uh, a button here so uh, yes you may want to actually add your own stages you may want to use uh, a button from here so that says add status that will pop up that component that we are going to be making so let's ignore all these talks and go for go directly to making that specific uh, uh, component i have added a component that is called add stages if you don't know how to add a component go here add component and give it the name that you want so for that component we are going to have a container that has to be centered in the middle and for its height and width it, there are need to be empty 
uh, it is little dot right here so inside that we want to add a component uh, no sorry it's a column uh, it doesn't have to be actually like that it has to be uh, it's used the minimum amount of size not the maximum so uh, inside that we are going to have an image that is that should be very small compared to, to how big it is uh, right there so we want to add padded uh, yes that is that looks good so this image will be uh, actually it's going to be ch it's going to be changeable uh, using we're going to be using uh, a component stage for that and uh, I will show you what I, I will do with that so don't, don't worry everything will be shown here and right below this one we are going to have a text field where where people can actually put some data right right there so they, they are going to be putting their data right there so we want to first uh, remove the paddings and change the somehow the the design of this guy so uh, we want to go down here and ch choose outline and uh, for this label here you see there so we don't want to see a label here we want to have a hint task text that says enter a message though we are going to be entering a message here so this is what you see here and we can add a padding to which we can get the padding back so we can have five well five in the paddings we can add more paddings on the sides if you like so we can add 10 here and 10 on the other side so below that text field we want to have a button that says add stages right we want to say add stages that is good and finally or the final touch is, is to add a padding to the to the parent and also you can add uh, uh, how much you like here for this one uh, you need to add uh, an icon if you like it's going to be add you can add this one just uh, you know it's it is just a way for you to actually find this very useful so you can use that and we can add around the edges or border radius to the the component or the container that is the parent of the of uh, the whole component right so this is just uh, the design stuff I have used that so uh, in the next episode we are going to or maybe in the next steps so I will be including some uh, some logical steps right now or if you want to make it just I want to make it very simple and short for you guys uh, you can just prepare the design for the next episode and uh, by the way thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you find it helpful if you find any issues or if you have any request uh, you are welcome uh, to send that to me uh, via my coffee page so thank you guys so much for watching and uh, see you on the next video